Ah, take two. <laughs> Forgot to plug the bloody microphone in again. Right, well, today, people, first of all, a warning. Um, now, we know the faceless cowards at YouTube remove comments for various reasons. Usually it's the bots that can't put a word into context or they don't understand the meaning of the word. Well, from what I've seen, there's probably humans at YouTube that are a bit like that as well, but that's another story that I covered. <laughs> <coughs> now, I had a system, my computer was set up where when you make a comment, I get an alert to your comment. I click on it and I can respond to it. If they remove that comment, it doesn't show. But under that system, I also get an email alert that you've commented and the comment is in the email. So, as you know, I get to see your comments even if they've been removed and I respond to them accordingly. Well, now YouTube actually removed an email under this. Now, I'm aware that when you send an email, there's a little thing at the bottom that says you can retract it, cancel it, whatever. But that disappears then. Now, I'm under the impression, and I always have been, that once you've been sent an email or a letter, that becomes your property. I might be wrong. I don't know. But on the extent of what they've done there, I actually inquired to our local West Midlands uh, cybercrime unit to ask what was going on, you know, is, is this lawful, legal, whatever. And they actually didn't know. <coughs> but, <clears throat> but, they are going to look into it. Now, <laughs> What YouTube probably doesn't realise, but most of you do, everything I do is backed up here, there, everywhere, copied here, there, and everywhere. Well, every time I get an email, unknown to YouTube, that is also sent on from that to another storage. I won't say what or where, but every email I get is backed up, copied. And the cyber unit have asked me to send them, you know, evidence of this. I said, well, it's got personal details on it. Um, I said, you know, would it be all right if I blacked the details out and sent you a hard copy? They said, yep, that's fine. Um, I've sent them various other things, but they've... Um, Give me a crime, well, crime number, a reference report number. And they promise faithfully to get back to me. So we'll see where this leads. Because I don't know whether I'm right or wrong. I'm just trying to find out. But as far as I'm concerned, that email was my personal property. It was on my computer. It had been opened and read several times because I actually responded to it. But then it disappeared. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll keep you updated on that little thing. If I get any response, that is. <coughs> so, what we got going on then in the world? Well, yesterday, we had that weapons-grade pillock from the WHO again. Slating just about every country in the world. For the way they handled the pandemic and vaccine rollouts and everything to do with it. Well, you prize prick. A lot of those countries did what they did because they followed your advice. You absolute bellend. 
Uh, I can see why America cancelled you. Don't want to have nothing to do with you. They made the right decision there. It's probably the only decent one they have made, but, um, you know, you've done enough damage over the last two years to this planet with your ideas and recommendations. So wind your neck in, book off, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Now, there's so many stories that are getting buried at the moment because of the uh, new Christmas Lurgy and its ten brothers and sisters or whatever it's got. Um, you know, what's, what's happening with the channel? I haven't heard a peep. What's happening about the train wreck of an NHS service? Nah. <laughs> they want people working from home again, but they're only recommending it if you can. They use the word recommend because that way they don't have to put in place another support system that they can't afford, or we can't afford, I should say. Um, they bought in the new fast ma mask mandate, which starts today. Is this is going to be the same farce as we had last time, I think. Well, I've just been uptown, and as you know, I'm unmasked. And I haven't been challenged once, and I've been in probably half a dozen shops, including a couple of large ones. So shows what the shopkeepers are thinking about it. Um, Iceland Co-op have already said they won't challenge people, and many other shops are doing the same now. But how are the police going to react? <laughs> this is where it's going to get interesting. Are they going to be absolute knobs like they were last time? Because it's been shown now that most of the fines were legal. Most of them have been thrown out of court and quashed. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see where they're going to go. But the... Exemptions that were in place last time are still in place. You do not have to show a card. You do not even have to give a reason. Look at this. This is a government website. Screenshot it, photograph it off the screen, pause it, whatever. But get it on your phone. Keep it in your wallet. If you do get any hassle... Just show them that. I mean, the police didn't take a lot of notice of it last time in many cases, and uh, <laughs> hence a lot of those are being sued at the moment, uh, along with the retailers that had the people arrested. So, And I believe the average payout was around £7,000 under the Discrimination Act. <laughs> so, keep your eyes down. Keep a camera with you. Get any problems, film it. Uh, now, I did, as I walked back today, um, as I said before, I walked past my job uh, test centre. Now, you'd think it would be overrun today, wouldn't you, with all this new scare and new propaganda, the new fear campaign, the new coercion. Nah. Nope. Nobody there. Lots of people in fluorescent jackets running around, like headless chickens, but no members of the public in there. Not one. <laughs> and what else we got coming out of Peppa Pig World today? Ah, uh, <laughs> now <laughs> Boris and Demonic Rab have been absolutely slating pretty useless Patel to the press. In particular, the total failure with the channel paddlers and. Her reply, unbelievably, what reads, where have I failed? What have I failed? Where? Oh, the arrogance of this woman is fucking unbelievable. 
Well, I can give you straight off the top of my head over 30,000 reasons and failures. And they're all sat in four-star hotels, country estate houses, million-pound houses in the countryside. There's 30,000 failures. You've got the way the police acted through the pandemic. Totally illegally most of the time, as it turns out, because that's what the courts thought of, thought of all the fines that you told them to issue. So there's another one to add to the 30,000 straight away, and I can probably come up with loads more. And you have to ask what you failed at. You arrogant bitch. <laughs> well, I've got a bit of advice for you. Start packing your bags now. But make them small ones, because them big buggers don't fit under buses. And I think that's where you're going very, very soon. <laughs> Or at least I hope you do. <laughs> and that's not a hate crime, people. That's just wishful thinking. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I've taken up enough of your time today. Thank you for your support, as always. Respects to each and every one of you, as always. And until the next one, stay safe. Stay strong. Stay free from tyranny. Oh, and if I disappear at any time this week, I have got some work coming in. I'm just waiting for some phone calls. Um, if for any reason this channel disappears off here, um, there is a link to my BitChute channel. That's where you'll find me. Respects, people.